If you want to make a shape overlay like this in CapCut, here's how you do it. So as you can see on my screen, all I've done is placed my finger over my camera and took a screenshot and imported that in as an image with the photo selected in my timeline or the overlay selected in my timeline. I'm going to swipe along the bottom and go to edit. And then I'm going to go to crop. I'm going to use the anchor points and drag this down to something that resembles a square and click the little tick button bottom right hand corner. So now if I want to use this over the whole screen, I pinch and squeeze. Or let's say, for instance, I want to put text over it along the bottom. I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom. Now, what we want to do is remove these lines. There's a few ways in which we can do that the way that I'm going to show you how to do that because it's a black screen. I'm going to go back one menu level with the arrows button on the left hand side. And then I'm going to swipe along until I find this blend mode. With the blend mode, scroll right, select the burn. This will immediately remove the lines for you and then I can reduce the opacity to the desired amount. If I then wanted to place text over that, I could do so. Or if I wanted to fade this in, use a transition to do this, what I could do, I could keyframe it, the little keyframe tool, just above the timeline there. Or probably the easiest way is to add an animation. And on the in, select the fade in and the duration of which you wanted it to fade in. So now it will fade in. I could then do the same with the out by selecting out and then fade out. And then use the red bookmark shape slider on the right hand side to change the duration of each. Click the little tick button. So this will then allow you to fade in. And then at the other end, fade out. Remember, if you want to add text to that, click the text layer, add text, and there you have it, a simple way to make a shape overlay with the text over the top. Take care, catch you all soon.